So today I'm just making a short video on how to install a padlock system. It's like a car lock, but for your French doors uh, in your property. It can secure your property against burglars and particularly blowtorching attacks that can remove the lock and let burglars gain entrance to your property. So what comes with, the, uh, with your pack is a padlock, which is these two pieces here, and then also a anti-tamper spindle. There's two of these and two of these spring clips that you can install uh, as well. So I'm going to just show you how to, how to do both of those things now. The first thing that you do is we're going to remove the, uh, the door handle. There are two screws on the inside of the door. And this is the old spindle and as you can see that's just a plain piece of metal the reason that we're going to replace it with the anti-tamper spindle is because if somebody were to blow torch your lock they could pull that out and even with the pat lock on they would then potentially be able to open your lock open your door even with the pat lock on so the way that we do this is you put the spindle in from the outside and as you can see there's a small lip on it here which prevents it being pulled through to the inside. We then take the spring clip, put that over the spindle. So as you can see from this angle, we've now slid the uh, spring clip over the spindle and what you want is you want to have these grooves aligning with these little tabs. Um, so those tabs need to be on the same face as these grooves here. So you can see there's no grooves on the top um, and there's no grooves on the bottom and there's no, no tab. Um, what that's going to do is when we push that down that will lock it in place and that will prevent the spindle being pushed through from that side as well. So to finish installing the spindle what we do is we're going to hold on this side the spindle in place so that it doesn't move and then I used the hands to push this down as far as it will go and then just use a flathead screwdriver to push it down until it touches the uh, lock mechanism and the flap should stop it springing back up. So now as you can see the spindle's in place and unlike the old spindle that will now not pull out. So it is a, a you have to be careful when you're installing it and um, bear in mind that once it's in it's then not easy to get out um, without specialist equipment so so you do need to be careful putting it in that you're putting it in correctly. So just to show you how the uh, pot lock itself works um, it comes in two parts like so. Um, the grey faces inwards, the yellow faces to the outside. All it does is like that over there Second one, like that, and they slide in together. And then all you do is you hold these two tabs down, and they will then press together. And that prevents the, um, the handles turning. So even if somebody removes your lock, um, those handles won't turn and the door won't open. The anti tamper spindles will prevent the um, spindles being removed, as I showed you earlier. Uh, but they're not necessary to use the padlock itself, they just provide a bit of extra security. Um, to remove the padlock, all you do is you squeeze these two tabs here and pull it up. 
pull it apart like that. 